Hello, hello, hello. This is Frida. Welcome to my channel. Okay, here is I have crocheted the five cake, the five balls that I bought in 2019. And uh, it's uh, Angora Alize Gold. Half, half, uh, I believe, uh, cotton and half acrylic. So what this is going to be the back and the front. So I am going to attach attach these and I was trying to figure out the colorway. So I started with dark the motifs and I went went down and I put down light ones. So I wanted to give that ombre look. <laughs> you know what I mean? So uh here it is. This is the bottom. So I'm going to be crocheting a couple, I believe, four or five more rows. Five, I think three more rows after these, this. So uh, then what uh, I will attach these. I have all the tutorials. I will uh, uh, put the link because I did a blanket. But this time this is going to be a cardigan and it's pretty long. So I was trying to figure out what color to uh, attach it with. So I bought these, I don't know if you remember, if you're a follower, subscriber from years ago. I, I bought these at Penticton when I was living in Penticton. I lived there for three years. It was a local yarn shop. And um, so what happened was this went down. Oh, the price. You see? It's $1.90. It's red. Maybe that's why. So the regular price was $6.50. Put this uh this tripod is too slow. <laughs> I need to get a tall one. Well, if I make sales, I will. Okay, so it was six fifty and it went down to one ninety nine. So I grabbed whatever she had. She had different colors as well. And I will show you that. And I did show that uh when I was doing the tutorial on a cardigan. Uh, the crocodile stitch card again for a baby okay, so this is uh, i believe oh this is 100 percent cotton but it feels like 50 50 i don't know it doesn't feel like 100 percent cotton so i'm going to use it anyways towards this i thought this color would match this see can you see it's the same color so i have about how many balls here and I'm going to knit the sleeve, so I'm going to combine knitting and crocheting. That's what I'll, I always do for years. So I am going to, they're the same color. I looked at them. They're the same color lot. Three, five, seven, two. And then whatever the second number is. So two, four. I have six balls. So that would be enough, hope I'm praying, to knit the sleeves. If I don't have enough, I will try a different color. That's the main thing is to attach these. So these two are going to be, these two rows are going to be the back, and this is going to be the front. And this is going to be the front. So what I did is I tried to match this color to the front to this. So when you, when you wear it, the fronts will be same. I tried to match them. I didn't make them different. But even if I match them, it's not the exact same, but it looks like it, it's the same, the way it's been crocheted. So I didn't play around with the colors. I just crocheted whatever I started with, whatever I finished with. So, uh, and another thing, one ball, I crocheted a total of four motifs. On the first ball, I, there was less yarn. Isn't that funny? It was so funny. That's why I thought uh, I'm going to be crocheting only three. But uh, on the second one, I crocheted four and the, you know, third and fourth. And I even had leftover yarn. So I finished whatever I couldn't finish because it was less the first ball. So it happens, right? When you buy yarn, there's sometimes more in some yarns and there's sometimes less. Okay, so I'm going to attach this color, this color. I'm going to attach, do the, the three extra rows. Okay, let's come in. I'll show you the other yarn that I p purchased from. Okay, so here are the other yarn that I purchased from that store. It's the same same yarn, 
same price, one ninety nine. You can never ever buy this for one ninety nine. <laughs> oh well, when it was sale. So I heard that she shut down and she's traveling with her mobile house. So uh, yeah. yeah. And then here is merino wool. I only have three balls. I don't know. Maybe I'll knit a baby stuff because it's super soft. I love the color. So I'm gonna work with those. Some colors don't match, like these three. Oh, see, this is a different color. So this won't work. But these three are the same. And these are the same. So I can make something. So stay tuned for that. I'm going to be making motifs and I will uh, show you uh, what to, what I'm, the colors are important, right? To uh, if they match or not. Here I have baby alpaca. Oh, it's so soft. It's just fantastic. Yeah. I'm not going to show everything, but yeah. So I I put the cups and cotton ones mostly here. But, uh. And, uh. Yeah, if I need to work with those colors, I will. I will be working on these and I'm trying to finish them on my live stream so I can show it to you hopefully I'm praying there's not many days left but uh, who knows right even if I can finish this uh, this and then I will knit the sleeves so that would be uh, my goal but yeah it took me time yeah these uh, motifs took me time uh, late so uh, the thing is you can crochet two motifs but at the beginning, I was crocheting one motif because I was slow. Then I crocheted two. Then I crocheted three. So it depends on uh, your day, right? If you have a happy day, you will crochet three. <laughs> if you have a miserable day, you will crochet one. Yeah, that's the thing. And it depends on your uh, crocheting time, right? The more, you know, I usually crochet night. And I go to bed at 3 a.m. So that's when I make most of my crochet and the colors are rustic doesn't this look nice I'm just I just love 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 look at this like yeah, brownish colors oh I love it yeah so I try to match this to that so they can look alike but they're not the same every motif is different yeah so this is again uh Alize gold half half uh cotton yeah so uh i will try to finish and i will put the link on uh, my tutorial which i did i think two years ago because <laughs> i bought this yarn in 2019 when i was in turkey i bought five balls in a package so uh this is what i made i was planning to make a baby blanket but baby blankets do not sell for some reason i don't know like, i have tons of baby blankets on my etsy shop and I already have this motif, a uh, blanket, and it's just gorgeous cotton, right? Blend, no one's buying. So I don't know what's up with that. So uh, I thought to myself, let me make a card again. At least it's wearable. You know, you can wear it. Then, yeah, you can uh, enjoy it. I just love it, love it how it looks. I hope you like it too. So I just wanted to let you know what's going on and how I am putting it together. And I found these little... I'm happy. So that's another thing. I'm a yarn hoarder. I am. Oh, I just I just can't believe how much yarn I have. And there are some yarn sellers that are kind of mad at me that I'm not buying yarn. But excuse me, I have a house full of yarn. And I'm trying to finish this. Like, I bought this, I believe, in 2014, that winter. Think about it. So this has been in my stash for eight years. Now it's time to use it. <laughs> so I'm happy that I bought it. because, Or else I had to go and buy brown. Because I don't have any brown cotton yarn like this quality. Yeah, and the thin. Uh, yeah, it's the same. Well, this one's a little bit thinner to compare to that. But uh, I don't think it should be a problem. Because I'm just going to do the attachment. Yeah not that bad so it will work because this yarn is not that bulk uh, worsted as well well you guys take care 
If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe, share it with your family and friends, and don't forget to hit that notification button, so every time I post a video, you will be notified, indicating there's something new. I just posted a unboxing on my tripod, and I don't know what happened. Oh, I had a hard time, because I am not good at editing. I ended up doing two videos, and uh, uh, <laughs> I lost the ending, so... It just sh shut down when the camera was on my lap. <laughs> I just started to laugh. I just couldn't believe it. Even I looked and I looked and I looked. It, it looked great. That's when I posted, right? But for some reason, eh, yeah, I am not good uh, on editing. Yeah, so I do apologize, whoever watched that tutorial, that uh, review about this. Uh, yeah, it's very light. Like right now, I'm holding on my hand. And it's very light, so when I put it down, uh, I usually give these informations at the end of the video because uh, lots of people get bored, right? So they don't have to watch. But uh, I like it. See how it turns? I just love it. The other one wasn't like this. So, uh, yeah, I am happy with my, uh, but yeah, it's not that high. So I might buy another one. We'll see. Will you guys take care? Happy crocheting. Bye-bye.